English 111, Reading 1, Chapter 3, Sports Psychology, Text 4, High Risk Sports, Chapter 3, Sports Psychology, Text 4, High Risk Sports. We all take risks every day. For example, we take risks when we cross the street, ask someone for a date, or ask the teacher a question that we think is stupid. These are everyday risks, actions that have uncertain results. However, some risks are extreme. For example, participating in dangerous sports such as mountain climbing and skydiving can be extremely risky. Why do some people like extreme or dangerous sports? Do they want to hurt themselves? Or is there some other reason? Psychologists are people who study human behavior. And some psychologists study risk behavior. These experts might have some of the answers. Who is a risk taker? Today, a risk taker is a person who participates in an action that has possible danger or an uncertain result. Experts have some facts about risk takers, and they also have some guesses about them. They know these facts. Young males are the most likely to be risk takers and people become less interested in risk-taking as they get older. In addition, some people still feel the need or desire to take risks. Many experts guess this. Risk-taking was important for our ancestors. It helped them to fight and find food. It helped them to survive. Therefore, it helped them to evolve into modern humans. There are positive and negative results of risk-taking. Risk-takers are often more successful than non-risk-takers. Inventors, politicians, and CEOs, people who lead companies, are often risk-takers. However, risk-takers may also become bored easily and become unhappy with their lives. The Sport Risk-Taker People who take sports risks have certain personality characteristics. Like other risk-takers, they are usually male and they ha usually have a group of friends like them. Generally, they are very confident people. They have calm personalities. That is, they do not usually feel anxiety. Usually, they like dangerous sports because they need much more stimulation than other people do. When they do extreme sports, they usually believe that they are in control of the situation. Also, they feel excitement instead of fear. One type of sports risk taker, the mountain climber. A researcher studied one group of high-risk athletes, mountain climbers. He asked them about themselves. Here's what they said. They climb because it makes them feel good about themselves. They climb because it makes them feel alive. They climb because it helps them to learn things about themselves. Many of these climbers also say this. They are addicted. They cannot stop, even after accidents. An example is Jim Wickwire. He climbed to the top of Pakistan's 28,250-foot, 8,610-meters, K2, the second-highest mountain peak in the world. On K2, Wickwire lost several of his toes because he had frostbite, a condition in which freezing injures the skin. He also lost half a lung because he got altitude sickness, a sickness that comes from not having enough oxygen. He even saw many climbing partners fall thousands of feet and then die. Did Wickwire stop climbing? No. He still climbs, even though he is not sure why. To some experts, extreme risk-taking is not normal. To other experts, risk-taking is an important part of being successful. What do you think? End of text 4.